Dave, you got us a good area you picked up? Well, I think right out on that rise out there is probably as good as any. That uh, probably stay on the high ground there and uh, much at the edge of that crater is rather yeah, that's soft. soft there, isn't it? Take a couple of close-ups yeah. on these uh, quite rounded, large boulders. Buzz Aldrin coming into view on the right, carrying the two experiments. About 40 feet out, I'd say out to the end of that next... Uh... Now it's going to be a little difficult to find a good level spot here. Uh, top of that next little ridge there, isn't that, wouldn't that be a pretty good place? Okay, how about I put the... Uh... All right, cube right about here. All right. Uh, I'm going to have to get on the other side of this rock here. I would go right around the crater to the left there. Isn't that a level spot there? But I think this right here is just as level. Okay. They will be out of the camera's field of view while setting up these experiments. The boulders uh, look like basalt and uh, they have probably 2% uh, white minerals in them. Uh, white, uh, and uh, the thing that I reported as uh, vesicular before, I, I'm not, I don't believe I believe that anymore. I think it's uh, small craters, uh, they look like uh, uh, little impact craters where uh, shot, BB shot has hit the uh, surface. Hmm. A little meteorite. Yeah. Well, he's talking about basalt, not gold and diamonds, so uh, <laughs> yeah. we can get all the basalt we need around here. Well, they called Alaska Seward's Folly at one time, too. It was some time later that it proved its mineral wealth. The astronauts will compensate for the weight of the rocks that they're collecting. It'll be more than 100 pounds. They'll compensate for the weight of those rocks in their uh, command module on the return trip home by leaving behind uh, quite an array of equipment. Uh, they'll leave the TV equipment, they'll leave the camera, the tripod, uh, they'll leave all, of course, the, all of the scientific experiments that they're setting up. Uh, some of the, of course, the lower stage, the descent stage of the Eagle will also be left behind. They'll leave their two portable life support systems and part of their, uh, and their garments, too. Both men now out of camera range as they set up the seismic and laser beam experiments. It's a passive picture we're looking at.
Uh, did I say I'm not having too much success in uh, leveling the uh, PSE experiment? Module flyers Neil Armstrong and Edwin Aldrin still out of camera range as they move about on the lunar surface setting up experiments that hopefully will tell men for years to come something about the formation of the universe and the nature of the heavenly bodies that surround this earth of ours. Here's one of the flyers now talking to Houston's mission control. Let's listen. Alignment uh, appears to be good. Neil, is this Houston? Roger out. Hey, you want to take a look at this BB, see what you make out of it? I found it pretty hard to get uh, perfectly level, too. That BB likes the outside, it won't go on the inside. to the concave. Thank you, right? Believe it is. Uh, Houston, I don't think there's any hope for using this uh, leveling device to come up with an accurate level. It looks to me as though the uh, the cup here that the BB is in is uh, now convex instead of concave. Over. Uh, Roger, 11. Uh Press on. Uh, if you think it looks level by eyeball, go ahead. Okay. The bubble they're discussing is on a leveling device on the uh, passive seismometer. successfully deploy both solar arrays, over. Badger, that's And there isn't any way of telling whether that's lined up. Not getting in the way, maybe I can get down here. Astronaut Aldrin is still deploying the solar panels on the seismic experiment 
which means it'll only operate uh, while there's sunlight on that part. Uh, the seismic stations to uh, grow up in the future will have uh, what they call a snap generator. That's a nuclear generator to power them. It'll go day and night. <laughs>